Hi, this is Mike, and I'm going to demo the uh, Runtime tab group from Mission Control. And we can see here that I have the System tab pulled up to start. We have a processor chart at the top. Seen that before? We have a JVM statistics table right here in the middle. And then we have a systems property table at the bottom. But this is a searchable table, so let's take a quick look at that. I'm going to go in here and let's hide that one. And I can do uh, various searches. So these are the standard system properties that you find in any JVM. So let's say I want to search for keys that begin with Java. I can do Java star. And you can see there all the various system properties that start with Java are listed. Um, just by doing that, basically I'm filtering it a little bit. I could also do, um, for example, the AWT. I could do a star AWT star. And then anything that has that, those three letters in it uh, shows up. So in addition to just regular wildcard searches, I can also do regular expression searches. So if I do reg exp colon, then now I'm doing a regular expression, expression search. So if I do um, the same thing in regular expression, so I do dot star awt dot star, then I get the the four values that I had before from doing a wildcard search. So you can see very powerful. Um, it can do very similar or a lot of stuff. So any table that's similar that has a, a search option, you can do the, either a regular expression or a wildcard search. So let's get rid of that data. Now I'm going to go ahead and look at the other tabs. The next tab is the memory tab. And this shows, this has a chart of the heap memory at the top. We have some uh, JVM memory statistics here and then some system statistics uh, shown below. So pretty standard stuff. I'm going to go ahead and look at the garbage collection tab next and then that shows a table with um, young generation. So we can see here that this JVM has been up a while, uh, 21 minutes, and it has done 228 young generation collections. And then this is old generation collections. We have four um, and it shows the time at the top for, you know, the collection time for each each one. The next tab is um, memory pool, and that just shows the, the, ver the various pools, your, your standard garbage collection areas, and um, the usage percentage here in this column, max, used, uh, peak, um, all that stuff. And all these columns are sortable, so if I want to sort by max, I can just do that, um, or go back to usage, or however you want to sort it. Um, so that's cool. That's standard in most tables. Once again, it, this one could be filtered like we did the earlier one. Finally, we have the threads tab. And you can see here this is groupings of threads that um, are running on the system. And um, shows just your standard, you know, number. It's uh, the state, um, blocked count, things like that. Notice here we have some check boxes so we can look dive in a little deeper and um, I've got uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on CPU profiling and just be aware that um, you this can be a little intrusive so there it could have some performance impact on your running VM if you do turn some of these options on so I'm gonna go ahead and click that and I can see the event queue thread is the one getting um, the most using the most CPU time I can also see if any of the threads are deadlocked. Uh, it doesn't look like there are. And then I finally can turn on allocation, which will show me which thread is taking up the most memory. So if I sort that, I can see um, it's still the event queue. So uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, you can, once again, everything's sortable. You can also click on it and see the stack trace related to that particular event to see what's going on. Um, by line with that particular thread. So that's it for the uh, runtime uh, tab group.